Annyeonghaseyo! Hi everyone, this is Arielle, one half of Soju for Two, and this is a watching now of a drama that's already eight episodes in, so sorry for how late it is, um, but this is Reply 1994, not to be confused with Reply 1997, which is very similar, and same channel and everything, um, but this drama has three main actors and of course a great other ensemble cast, but I'll give you them first. So we have Go Ara plays um, Sung Na Jung. Uh, jung -woo plays Shaki, which means trash. We can't actually know his real name because if we know his real name, then we'll know whether or not he's her husband right off the bat. Uh, Yoo Yeon Sook plays um, Yoo Sook, sorry, plays Chilbongi, which again isn't his actual name because if we knew, then we would the story would be ruined for us. Um, we also have three other sort of main guys, uh, another girl, and uh, the parents and everything. So what's cool about this story is basically takes place at a boarding house in 1994. Um, we have, the boarding house is actually cool, it's in my neighborhood, in my dong, um, which is Shincheon, and in the first episode, um, the sort of the plot is that you have all of these kids that are coming from the countryside or smaller cities in, um, Korea, which if you're a person from Seoul, you tend to think are countryside, even if they're pretty big cities. Um, but, so they, they come in and they don't know how to use the subway and all of that stuff, which kind of, it's something similar to this about being a foreigner, um, because even though they are Korean, their accent's different, um, people are always, like, making fun of that or, like, saying it's cute, that, you know, the city itself is different for them, navigating the city was kind of an experience, so I think I could relate to that a lot, so I think if you're a foreigner watching this, you're going to like those aspects of the show. Um, which you didn't really have in Reply 1997 so much because it took place in Busan. Um, so this one's in my neighborhood, which is cool. Uh, they go to, all the students go to Yonsei, Yonsei, which is actually the university next to me. Um, so it's really cool. It feels like really my home, and I like that about it a lot. We also have the love triangle, which is great. Um, he's her opa, which he grew up with her like as an older brother, but he's not a biological older brother. Um, and the other love interest is the like star baseball player. And then all the other guys have their own little quirks. We've already sort of figured out some of the other love stories already, which is cool. So I don't want to give too much of it away. But I will say that something about this drama is very cute. It's one of those like family dramas where it has lots of like this humor and silly things. A lot of it I think you have to like watch a lot of other Korean dramas first to understand. Um, because there's a lot of really Korean culture things that are like a little bit hard to understand if you don't know the differences between the language and all of that stuff. So this might be difficult if like it's one of your first dramas. So I would say maybe put it on the back burner, but you're going to love it eventually. Um, so far, it's following a similar similar storyline to Reply 1997 in the love story way. But um, I don't know. I, I hope it, she picks Chilbong because I like him better. But she's going to, I'm sure, pick um, her older brother. Not biological though. Um, and I don't know, it's something very sweet about it and she's really likable. Um, the hair is kind of crazy, which is fun. Um, the band that her friend who lives in the house with her is in love with is like crazy outfits, which is awesome. Um, I don't know the, the, the band, I don't know how popular it is. Like I know H.O.T. from 1987, but I don't know this band at all. So maybe I'll look into it. But I would definitely recommend, if you're not watching it, it's almost halfway through. We're at episode 8, I think, so a kiss is coming soon, so you've got to watch it um, so we can see what happens. We had one kiss, which was the kiss with Chilbong, um, and I don't think, I think that means that he's not going to end up with her. Breaks my heart, but I think it's a fact. Um, but yeah, so it's cute, but we're going to have the romantic moment soon. Um, so definitely get into it if you haven't started watching it. I know I was tentative, but I think a lot of you might be as well, but it's really good, so give it a shot. Okay, bye everyone.